Hey guys, Chase with Creed Commodore. Um, pretty crazy weekend. A lot of things going on in our lives. Uh, got a three month old baby, a son that is playing more baseball games than days right now. Sort of like the whole COVID thing is like stop, stay home, stay home. And then the world said go and we're going at 90 miles an hour but we are still doing puppies so uh we kind of my wife and i divided and conquered this weekend so if anyone that reached out to me this weekend i'm sorry if i was short uh, i didn't really have a lot of choice uh a lot of things are happening with these little puppies um they are oh gosh where are we at uh they're they're nine days old uh they are just starting to try to walk a little bit um i just saw a couple of them try to pull this off they're asleep now i'm sorry i, I wanted to capture it but um mom fed them and uh babies eat and they sleep and that's about all they do so there's a little bit of uptime and that's slowly increasing uh, but these guys are starting to become a little more mobile their um, ears are looking like they're starting to open a little bit but not much and their eyes look like they're starting to open just a little bit but I would still say they're definitely closed um, uh, still having uh, more and more pigmentation colors. Uh, most of them are completely turned at this point. Uh, one of the things that I was really interested in when doing this is uh, getting like very specific uh, weight changes over time. And here's the data that I've got. And uh, for uh, you know a geek like me, this was this is pretty cool. And again, just keep in mind, this is just for this litter, but uh, the data that I got for, for week one is average um, uh, weight at birth was 506 grams. And then for the first week, they averaged 45 grams uh, per day increase. Uh, and it was, it was relatively linear. So 45 grams a day increase uh, for those who prefer the empirical that's roughly an ounce and a half a day roughly um, and that's that's for the first week uh, as time continues because like I said we're on day nine now um, the M value let's see is 45 through day nine and it's 45 through day seven so um, the next couple of days we haven't had any weight changes or uh, uh, rate changes not weight um, so here's kind of my 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 breakdown let's see if I can show that to you guys uh, at day nine the average weight is uh, two pounds which is um, rather impressive uh, in my eyes uh, several several of the uh, the boys are at, at one kilogram which is 2.2 .2 pounds um, their their coats are continuing to get a little thicker looking more like Commodores uh, so are their faces um, let's see uh, I've got my son here with me. He was out playing baseball today, but now we're doing we're doing um, uh, puppy daycare. Carter, you want to do a close up with the puppy you got? Yeah, sure. No, no, no. Just come here. I'll hold the camera. This is this is one of our bigger males. I think he's our biggest. Okay, face up. Like hold him up. Hold him up, Carter. Camera. There we go. There's there's the big guy. We don't have names picked out for him yet, um, but um, uh, we've actually we have we have picked out names for the dogs, but we haven't assigned the names for them. 
Um, so we decided to do kind of like a, a little bit of a comedy joke towards um, our, our, our stud, our first Commodore. His name, his name is Odin. It's O-D-O-N. Uh, that's actually a Hungarian name. And it means, um, what was it? Prosperous Protector. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's also the God of Gods. No, 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 no. That's spelled differently. Oh, it is. That's O-D-I-N. I thought it was O-D-I-N. No. No. So, so anyways, we named the dog a Hungarian name because um, uh, the Hungarian heritage um, uh, is, is um, well... It's very attached to the dog. You can't take the Hungarian out of the dog, in my opinion. So we we went with uh, um, Hungarian names uh, for the call names for our dogs. Uh, Odin is Prosperous Protector. Ducey is Prosperous in War and Precious Gift. Yeah, and Ducey, Ducey our, our uh, female, is Precious Gift, is what that means in, in Hungary. As so says the Google. Um, anyways, everyone calls Odin, Odin as in like the Greek, um, um, the Greek God. So we're going to name every single one of these dogs, starting with an A, uh, paying, uh, homage to the, um, Hungarian tradition of, uh, litter naming, but they're all going to be, uh, they're all going to be, uh, like, uh, mythical God names. So, uh, can you can you remember some of them, Carter? I got them all written down that we picked out. Apollo. Apollo. Athena. Athena. Um, and so on that Mom wanted. Aphrodite. Aphrodite. Yeah, I've, a lot of uh, lot of people know Aphrodite. But anyways, uh, that's kind of the the game plan with that. Uh, so they'll they'll be unique names, that's for sure. Um, anything else you got today, buddy? Um, Mr. Puppies over the weekend. And... Yeah, it was kind of hard doing traveling, uh, without, without, um, our dogs. It's, it's, it's such a weird thing. I know that we, we plan on keeping one of the puppies. It's probably going to be this one. Uh, we don't know yet. It, it depends on so many different things. Right now, basically, we can look at um, the uh, pigmentation, malformations, uh, weight, but there's so many other things that we have to look at. Um, we have to look at temperament, which is kind of hard to tell at this age, and uh, we have to look at the way they move. Um, that's, that's important in... Um, um, deciding which dogs uh are deserved of being bred um you know i for us this is not a money thing um i've i've personally become very attached to the breed and i want to improve the breed not necessarily in my image uh as i see them i mean that's kind of the nature of it but um you know, as it's defined in the standards, so on and so forth, we, we want to do the, the right thing for the breed. You know, it's, it seems like the world has become more and more, um, you know, conscious about adopting a dog and less conscious about um, preserving what a breed is and uh, respecting... Um, uh, breeders that carry that torch and this is a rare breed particularly in America and they're there's they're, they're such a cool dogs um, you know I mean how else can you find something that uh, loves blindly and will protect you with its life you know it's it's special um, so anyways uh, that puts me right at 10 minutes, and hopefully I can get this out today. Uh, it's already 10 p.m. here on Sunday, and i got to be at work in 10 hours. So, um, 
You guys have a wonderful day. Take care of yourselves.